and I'd like to introduce my classmate, Nick Alia, 2012 Fellow in Poetry. class. Us with open mouths. We are all born unopened and holy. We start here coughing up bile and deprivation. When the body is a marionette, when you have a tongue but can't express your language, when you become a flower stapled to the wall, sworn shut windpipes but balanced eyelids, if I had remembered faith, I could have screamed a prayer into the forest, digging my nails into the skin of citrus. I've hidden all my secrets in the pockets of my cheeks, the safest space I've chewed for myself, the burden of eating, the exhausting appetite, because we are the ones that are always hungry, always devouring images of thin bodies in the silence of the bathroom. The tub is a portal for tired from tired to drowning, the thought of food as a weapon, because to eat is to be fat, and shame is a thick and dangerous thing. It keeps us guilty and controlled. It keeps us alone in showers, away from sex shops. It keeps us unprotected, horny, crying, weighing, chafed thighs, pulling at stomachs, undeserving, asking for it, deflection. Big bellies, fat plums, marinated. I smell like fat because it's an easy scent to inherit. It's taught in schools and at bus stops. It's bottled and born, inadequate, fetish, nasty. You smell like fat, you smell like lazy. My anger is a deeply hidden vessel. I have bruised my hands to hold my own cups filled with sugar and oil. I had been a collector, a packer of evacuation tactics. I used to rub the weight of my thighs, grit my teeth as my dimpled ass grew red stretch marks. I know this, like the storm knows a canyon, the inevitable rain, the yearn for scissors, sharp things, and scales. We are all born unopened and hungry, learning to spell desire, but never how to use it. In the spaces I have come to know, I will always be hungry. My mouth open, but never taking. My stomach cranky and never full, always consuming myself in takeout boxes to hide the memories of the years when I did not eat. A story of hands twisted in the bulge of intestines, the soft meat of my body as it lay rumbling the privilege that exists to lay with the choice of being empty. The body is a road. The road is confusion. Confusion is always hungry. I am barefoot at the edge of the forest, the old scriptures I have fumbled through, the pressure of being, the ways we are told to view our bodies, how some grow up to resist. To remove our shirts is an act of revolution. My tongue is a riddle in the trees, my body a house for ghosts. I am no longer scared of the ache. I am no longer hunched over trying to swallow myself. I will always be growling. I will always be seeking. I will always be hungry. Mm -hmm. 